Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make stylized rocks in a kind of procedural way inside Blender. So the first thing you're gonna do here in Blender is then you're gonna go into edit mode, go into preferences, and you're gonna make sure that you have extra objects activated in here. When you do this, when you press Shift A, you're gonna have this extra option here. If you don't have that activated, I guess you're gonna only have this first part in here. So you can go and just click on this one, and you can see that you have quite a few options in here. Only with this base in here you can already have some nice rocks but I'm gonna show you how I make some like extra layer of details in here uh, and also with the same technique that this add-on is using so yeah the first thing you want to do is you can go and try to find a nice base for you I like this one I'm gonna add a few extra subdivisions and I'm gonna go into my displaces in here and I want to get rid of this noise this this and this one yeah it's just so i'm not distracted by it for now okay so that i'm here on the modifiers and the on my displacement i can see that i have this rock displacement line here and what this is doing is displacing my mesh with a texture that is procedurally generated by blender so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our texture tab in here and i'm gonna look for my texture that is changing my mesh and should be this one and now in here i have a couple of parameters that i can play around with it just to until i have what i actually like and yeah so this one we have a little bit of luck because my favorite one is this for an eye one and most of this i, I didn't even know that at this this rock generator would use this run eye until now uh, so what i actually usually do is i take the original one the original texture and and i replace for the run eye one for another one is the one that for me has the most organic look to rocks so it's my favorite one so yeah this one it's already using Voronoi so we should not even need to create a new one but if you do you can just click in this one and you can change the type of noise in here and you're gonna have a couple of options in here as you can see yeah and all of them you can have nice results with all of them it's really a matter of what you're looking for so yeah for me what I want is to I don't like this I'm gonna see if I can get rid of these like circles in the middle of, of the faces of my rock if i can get rid of this but only only in here i should be able to get rid of this yeah uh, i don't think these parameters here are gonna have what i need so i can go into color ramp and i can click a plus in here let me see okay so i guess it's gonna be a matter of yeah it definitely didn't work very well not as i was expecting so what i'm gonna do if i can get rid of this with the parameters i should be able to get rid of this inside my, like scoped mode very easily so it shouldn't be a problem oh, okay this this one even adds a little more detail which is good and gets rid of yeah always play around with the parameters that is good yeah if you do the opposite it's also good for you if you want to create tieable textures like a tieable rock it's good with this nice okay. i'm gonna go with this let me see if any of the ones that i deactivated would be good now i'm gonna increase just so i can see what it's doing it's basically like a noise let's go into into that texture and see what that is yeah so um, what i'm gonna do is just make that a little bit bigger now i have a nice like a noise that is not super like ad adding small details to my rock so now that i have this it's a really nice space and it's really easy to do with this rock generator now i can just go into my object tab and go into convert so i can convert to mesh and this will get rid of all of the modifiers now i have an actual mesh in here actual geometry so now that we have this i'm gonna go into my sculpt mode and since i have a lot of geometry uh, this is already uh, fine for me to model i don't need to add anything more most probably at least and i can just make sure that i have my faces uh free, as defined as i can some parts obviously is like more rounder like this one anyway i'm trying to make some planes out of it okay and this one in here i guess i'm gonna have to add a mode to, to resolution modifier it's gonna make it easier for me yeah definitely that's a lot better yeah that's nice okay so now i can get rid of this really easily with my scrape brush and some smoothing 
been looking for adding planes for um, my mash as much as I can. Okay, awesome. Now I have a nice rock already. This should be fine. Also, I uh, like oh, most of these steps and you can like add the details by hand if you want. Uh, that should be fine if that's what you like. Okay, nice. Now that you finished sculpting everything here, just make sure that you have all the planes, as I said, and you can apply your subdivision, uh, your mode to rest a modifier. Let's come into object mode and apply this. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a dismate modifier. I'm gonna change that to planner, and I'm gonna I'm gonna hit all boundaries. I'm gonna change to flat because it's easier to to actually see this. And I can increase until my planes are kind of separated. I think like this should be fine. And now I'm gonna add a bevel on top of this. And I'm gonna change the width type to percent. And I can increase the width to something smaller. And you can also increase the angle. Okay, and now that you separated the faces, you can go back here with the scrape brush again and you can just add a little bit more like some bevels. I'm gonna add a new multi resolution modifier for this. Just gonna add a few bevels. Okay, nice. It's done. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna apply this multi resolution and I'm going to name this rock high poly. I'm gonna duplicate this one, name it low poly, and I'm gonna add a decimate modifier. Okay, and okay, so now I'm gonna UV unwrap very quickly. I'm just gonna use Smart UV Project for this and I'm gonna export that to Substance Painter. Okay, so here in Substance Painter, just bake your rocks and use a rock smart material. Thank you for watching this video. If you like, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video. Bye.